story and then, then we'll get back to the um, No, he's not. Okay. Okay. Thank you for <laughs> So divine office. Divineoffice.org, yeah. But yeah. this for ambulatory, is that what you're saying? Or are we just doing... We're just doing Divineoffice. Divine office. Office. It's simple. We're doing what we've always done, and I don't have to make a change. No, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to learn anything. <laughs> well, we got yes. here. Yes. The hymn is here. That's all, that's all I needed to know. The hymn's on the... Like, what's paper? changed? What's happening? Yeah. What's going on? The hymn is here. Um, Andrew, could you, would you lead this choir, and then, uh, Tom, you want to lead this choir? Are you okay with that? I think so. Okay. Well, I just uh, this one. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Yeah. 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 Let us listen to the voice of God. Let us enter into his rest. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. And let us worship Christ with the joy in our hearts. The Lord is God. The mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land, too, over his floor by his hands. Come then, let us worship Christ, the King of the universe. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people. The flock he shepherds. Come on, let us worship Christ, the King of our martyrs. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen me in all my works. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of our martyrs. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, there are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of our hearts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was on the beginning, and to the end, 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 Switch to morning prayer. Uh, so we're going to sing. Uh, we're going to sing. Uh, Your praises we sing. You reign now in heaven with Jesus our King. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
hard to so the, start hearing. This is cycle. Yeah, so yeah. the whole thing down, so standing yeah, up. Stand, yeah, so, so the side that's leading stands, right? Okay, yeah. right. So the side that's hand. not leading yeah. down. Right, that's, that's right. right. So, so, yeah, so now everybody stands to the right. The martyrs fixed their eyes on heaven and cried out in their torments, Come, Lord, be with us in this hour. Hmm. You do not have the right to eat anything. Hmm. I don't. Mm -hmm. Really? There, the there are many different options for today. Like there's the this. martyrs, there's, John, there's Why? Paul the Cross, there is ordinary Saturday, and there is oh, Isaac Our Lady. Job. Yes. Isaac oh. Job. So okay. if you're looking at the the, the common of well, martyrs, maybe that's what Andrew's reading, and that's yeah, the perfectly fine. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. it's not it's not what the Bible says. Okay. 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 In the Torah, it tells us. Yeah. You have the text. I mean, that's yeah, we should take one. Yeah. So it's yeah. at. I'll just read off. It's at. Um, we're at Luke four twelve. 14. That's 12, 14. Yeah, that's 12, 14. I'll just read that so, for phones the, 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 if that's what everybody has. Yeah, 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 yeah we, we, we do well. We do well. That's yeah. fine. The man whose deeds are blameless and whose heart is pure will climb the mountain of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. Oh. Nope. Nope. Are you on morning prayer? Oh morning prayer. Morning prayer. Oh, I'm on the list. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, Yes. 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 We do well to sing your name, Most High, and proclaim your mercy at daybreak. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make the music to your name, Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night, on the ten-string choir and lute, with the murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works, how deep are your designs. The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish, all doers of evil are scattered. To me, you give the wild ox of strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes look in triumph on my foes. My ears are gladly of their fall. They just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like the Lebanon tree. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green. To proclaim that the Lord is just, and in my rock there is no wrong. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and it is to come, world without end. Amen. We do well to sing your name, Most High, and proclaim your mercy at daybreak. Create a new heart in you and breathe into you a new spirit. Go ahead. I will take you away from among the nations, nations and gather you from all the foreign lands, lands and bring you back to your own land. land. I will sprinkle the water on you to cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will, I will give, give you a new heart. heart. A place of the Spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my Spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to our Father, to the seven times of the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it will be come. I will create a new heart in you, and bring it to you a new spirit. On the lips of children and infants, you have found perfect praise. How great is your name, O Lord our God! Your all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens. On the lips of children and babes, you have found praise to all your enemies. 
to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? Yet you have made him little less than a god, with glory and honor and crown giving him power over the works of your hands. Put all things under his feet, all of them sheep and cattle, yes, even savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. On the lips of children and infants, you have found the perfect grace. Praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and to the God of all consolation. He comforts us in all our afflictions and thus enable us to comfort those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from him. As we have shared much in the sufferings of Christ, so through Christ do we share abundantly in his consolation. The just are friends of God. They live with him forever. The just are friends of God. They live with him forever. God himself is their reward. They live with him forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The just are friends of God. They live with him forever. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for the sake of justice. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of the servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who made us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him out of the earth, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called our prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people the knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. The tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in our darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and for the Lord of the Giving, it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are those who suffer persecution our savior's faithfulness is mirrored in the fidelity of his witnesses who shed their blood for the word of god let us praise him in remembrance of them you redeemed us by your blood your martyrs freely embraced death in bearing witness to the faith give us the freedom of the spirit of the lord you redeemed us by your blood profess their faith by shedding their blood. Give us a faith, O Lord, that is constant and pure. You redeem us by your blood. Your martyrs followed in your footsteps by carrying the cross. Help, Help us to endure courageously the misfortunes of life. You redeem us by your blood. Your martyrs washed their garments in the blood of the Lamb. Help us to avoid the weaknesses of flesh and your holy words. You redeemed us by your blood. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God, which 
chose to manifest the blessed hope of your eternal kingdom by the toil of Saints John de Verba, Isaac Jogue, and their companions, and by the shedding of their blood. Graciously grant that through their intercession, the faith of Christians may be strengthened day by day. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your Spirit. Spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. And thank you. Thanks be to God. God. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God. Rest in peace. I thought it was in the box, but it's not there. So it'll happen. I have, before I get started, there, I have some what we call refrigerator documents, but they're actually business card size documents, but they remind you of your devotions and things. So take one, pass it on. Okay. And uh, Carolyn put these together. Very nice. There's a refrigerator document yeah. in card form. In card form. What is the refrigerator document? It's online. You print it up, put it on your refrigerator. It's reminding. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, like the daily task that you're supposed to do. Yeah. Pray the rosary every day. Yeah. yeah. Just, just reminders. You know, when you want to look at it, it gives you a really good reminder. This is the visual of St. Catherine. Also, we have here, and everybody knows this already, but we have these brochures. And if you know somebody that might benefit from it, grab a few. Uh, we've got tons of them, but uh, you know they need to be used for that purpose. So I will pass these on, so grab one or some if you, if you can use them. And that's just to get the word out, which is the part of the subject I want to address. Is that Carolyn's come up with an idea of putting in some ads in the backside of, and the store is going to support it. So that's one of the benefits of taking on the ministry of the store is that we get to keep the money. Um, which parishes are you doing? I don't know. I, I just know the detail. Of about five hundred dollars for a quarter of a business card size. Yeah. For a year. For a whole yeah. year. So at least a year. Yeah. So at least I think there's three of them. Three of them that for that price. Three different three parishes. Oh yeah. three parishes. Oh okay. Um for one whole year. So the, the diocese kinda of organizes the parishes with the guardian yeah. bulletins. So in other words, it's about the size of like this right here. Yeah. Everybody see? Yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll put our little seal on there and say uh, third order or whatever. St. Dominic, St. Mark's, third Sunday, third Saturday, 10 a.m. So maybe we could do um, St. Mark's, the cathedral, and either Holy Apostles or St. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Put it places where people are listening. Um, I don't want to take very long, but I want to tell, talk about so we went to Salt Lake, be us, we being kind of a delegation from the chapter to the regional meeting that has been called because of the indulgence of St. Thomas Aquinas, which has benefited through the end of this year, I think, maybe to the feast day of St. Thomas Aquinas. January, yeah. yeah, January 28th. So, the, and so we took advantage of this and there were six of us, Tim and Max and Josh and Alana and uh, Peter. Peter, Peter, who's not yeah, here, so not here. Peter, Peter making more coffee. And then <laughs> me, uh, I was having to go with them. And so Father Gabriel Mosier, I don't know if any of you remember him, fantastic priest, and we're blessed to have fantastic priests. Um, it was a very good gathering, but he talked about something that's very relevant right now is how our attitude should be with regard to politics. And of course, we went through all the discussion and everything, and you know, the positive and negative not the candidates, but the situation we're caught up in. But he said, you know, there's one thing you can do personally, this is how I took it, to change things in this world, and that is to live in accordance with virtue. Make a decision, and he says, ask God not to test you, or to give you the, <laughs> to, to test you, but for an infusion of the gift that you need. So all of us have our weaknesses. So, 
So, you know, in the past, I was telling Andrew, it's like, I'd ask for, please give me patience, you know, because I'm at driving traffic. And as soon as I ask that, somebody in front of me slows down with a California license in front of me. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's like, it's it's like our Lord has a sense of humor. Yes. No, he does yeah. So well, he wants to show you what strength you have. Or little. Lord, give me the actual virtue, not the opportunity to practice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I appreciate uh, the deacon's uh, point because it does demonstrate your response. And, uh, you know, we pray for infusion of that, and it does help. And so he show you what you can really take. Yeah, and so I, I took this as like living in accordance with virtue. People are watching you, and you can change lives around you. So that's how yeah. we change the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not by jumping up and down the screen corner with a three by five uh, <laughs> uh, political card. Nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong, but it you can change lives and influence them. Be so, faithful. yeah, and be faithful. Yeah. And next thing is we're, uh, we're taking kind of a slight different approach on the radio ministry. So anybody who wants to join, feel well, free to let me know. I think April is still, I forgot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, make sure, send me an email on that. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> what we're doing is over the next seven weeks, we're going to study Protestantism a little bit. We're not going to do her heresy hunting. I'm not interested in heresy hunting. I'm interested in thinking through things. And Father Barton Latore had a the seven essential principles of Protestantism. It's online. You can find him in the formation and in the resources page of the website. And I was hoping to be able to kind of access the website today a little bit, but that's not going to happen. But my point being that we're going to go through those seven points. So it, those who are participating will kind of need to do a little study, extra study, to make sure. You, so one of them, the first one is that man, these are my words, but man is totally depraved or totally corrupt. So that's an essential, that's the primary. Once you attack the foot of that assumption, and I say assumption because it's not biblical, is a lot of Protestant uh, Protestantism and its tradition, I'm use that term on purpose, collapses on itself. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do, so um, just encourage if you want to participate, but certainly listen on Tuesday mornings on Salt and Light Radio at 7 a.m. to about 2, uh, 20 after, 22 after. Okay, lastly, something that's really touched my heart, um, and every time I touch it, pick up on the bush. And they, somebody was talking about this book down at Salt Lake and they said, yeah, I bought it and it cost blah, blah, blah. And it was like a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. well, I found it. Oh, it was I, you. Didn't, I didn't buy it for a hundred bucks. Oh, I found it online and it's like brand new and it was published 50 years ago. And, and he's, he's so talented. But anyway, I'm getting encouraged. I found it online after I bought it. What is it? 62 bucks and 50 cents. No short history? It's called history. The Dominicans of Short stuff. History by William Heinebusch. Mm -hmm. And I found it online and it's worth reading. So we're going to, I'm encouraging uh, Alana to include that uh, for the future. So it's a PDF, it's scanned? It's PDF and it's on Dom Central, but I, okay. it's, the link is online at dominicanido.org. I just want to quote something from his forward, and this is the kind of stuff that he writes, and then I'll shut up. But if you just listen, I'll try to read it promptly, but studiously. It is the order's high duty to preach, to be concerned with preaching, to wish it to be done in the best way possible, to be distressed when it is not being done, sad when it is not being done well. Disappointed when another message is announced in place of God's word. The Dominican task is to study, explore, and discover better, more effective, and newer ways of disseminating the gospel message. It will be the order's duty to prepare the way for the coming or deepening of faith in those who hear the message. Everything the Dominican does, he must link to spread the word of God. 
even when doing work that seems only distantly related to preaching. He must motivate it through the proclamation of the word. He must therefore remain in close touch with the scriptures, study them, pray them, guide his life by them, and spread the new good news that they contain. Oh, that was very beautiful. That's on the website. That's on, it's on the website. Mm -hmm. it's, the book itself is on the website, and that's oh, in the that foreword. Yeah. That is just in the first page. It's in the foreword. <laughs> So there's a punch. This book has a punch to it. So, and yeah. it sounds like the punch is going to taste very well. Um, <laughs> the the so what was I going to say? We talked about living that life of virtue. You know, that's a really big message for me, and it touched heart. My the message coming from Father Gabriel. Well, this kind of emphasizes it kind of a different way, a different fold. And so anyway, I commend you to that link. You, and you don't need to spend $62.50. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. Okay, so uh, kind of uh, coming, uh, taking the same thought that uh, Don just shared with us, which is very important as Dominicans, we are called to have the Word of God be very near and dear to us, and that we take the time to study the scriptures and find ways to share this uh, with others. And so uh, today, I think with Andrew giving us uh, a talk on um, the theme, what's the theme? Pilgrims of Hope. Uh, how, is we, uh, how are we as Dominicans uh, living this theme? Uh, because that's the theme for this next year, especially with the... Um, Jubilee, and as I was reflecting on this theme, I thought uh, that, wow, well, how can we incorporate the scriptures into this theme and live that in our own lives as well as share that with others uh, for this, this whole next year? Now, all of you, do you remember what feast we celebrated next last year, uh, yesterday? What was the feast we had yesterday? St. Luke. St. Luke. Yeah, he's one of the four evangelists, right? Yeah. And so this next year, those of us who know this, the cycle of readings that we have, uh, this next year, what year is it for Sunday readings? You see. You see, and what, what, what is that for? St. Luke. So there's a message here uh, that the church wants us to take St. Luke, this evangelist, with us, and that we are also evangelists. And so this is an invitation for us, this whole of this next year, to read St. Luke, to walk with St. Luke. And St. Luke, in, in many ways, is very Dominican. And the reason why I say that is because St. Luke is the only evangelist who recounts the gospel, not just to, to, to recount to us the life and, uh, and the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, but he also shares with us the life and faith of someone very special to us. Who? Blessed Mother. Our Lady. Yeah. So when we pray and meditate on the mysteries of the joyful mysteries, where does that come from? St. Luke. St. Luke. Luke. So you see a theme here? Um, and so this is uh, where I would like to encourage all of us uh, this next year, if we're going to be preachers of the word, uh, St. Luke is the, the one that we want to travel with, to reflect with, and then share now, what's beautiful about St. Luke, too, is not only that he uh, shares with us the life and faith of Our Lady, uh, but he also, when you look at the whole of the Gospel of St. Luke, one of the things you'll notice that he presents it in the sense that Jesus is moving on this great journey. He's doing this great pilgrimage, in a sense, uh, from the time that, uh, from the moment of Jesus' birth to his travels all the way down to that ultimate destination. Where is that? Jerusalem. Jerusalem. And so this theme of being pilgrims of hope, and when we think of hope in the sense of the theological virtue of hope, uh, what are, is it that ultimately we're hoping for? Heaven. 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 Which is the new Jerusalem. Jerusalem. And so this is where I want to, to kind of connect all these themes uh, together. Uh, to St. Luke to help us uh, travel. So 
You know, when, when we begin the new liturgical year with the Advent uh, season, we're traveling with St. Luke, listening to the stories of uh, the infancy narrative uh, following Our Lady, uh, and then ultimately uh, towards the end of the, in a sense, the liturgical year when, when we hear from St. Luke uh, what Jesus did on the cross for us, how Mother Mary uh, was present uh, towards the very end. So this is, this is the pilgrimage that we're on. This is the pilgrimage of hope that we're on. And that hope that we have is the hope of eternal life, uh, of eternal salvation. So that's something that, uh, you know, the whole church is inviting every Catholic uh, to follow. And I think not many people recognize there's a link that the church wants us to have, which is connecting this theme of the Jubilee year with the, the liturgical reading of uh, the gospel that we have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's being thematic. It just embodies everything, and it, it's the upcoming jubilee. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh yeah. I, I'm just I I I have been to a lot of prayers with priests, with Dominicans, with lay Dominicans, with all of us. And one of the things I, I've discovered is the more we we uh, put details into the liturgical uh, uh, the the liturgy of the hours. I know when I pray with diocesan priests, uh, to prevent the priests from fighting with each other, just because of the liturgy, they have to print like they're a whole separate program <laughs> so the priests don't argue with each other. Uh, and so they decide a lot of things be ahead of time. So I just wanted to say, uh, first of all, wonderful that uh, our lay Dominicans are praying the liturgy of the hours, uh, but just to help us in the future from kind of fall into what we experience today. And it's not just lay Dominicans. Priests fall into the same problem because uh, the church offers all these options. And mm -hmm. of course, you know, when, when those options are not decided beforehand, uh, then they get into an argument before they start praying. <laughs> In all honesty, we have made that decision, and that decision is divine office. Oh, okay. okay. But it has yeah. options, though. That the wow. options have been made, and that's divineoffice.org. Divineoffice.org has options. Yeah, I'm, I'm so saying that. So you can't just say divineoffice.org. You have to say which option on the divine one that, that The default the setting. Default. The default setting, however you want to put it. Um, um, I agree with Father that, but, and, and traditionally, the beauty of what Carolyn does, she usually has it completely written out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, she does it already, okay. but. Is she I, okay? No, no, she, no, well, her, her, cousin, her cousin died and she's oh. at the funeral. So. Oh. The, the funeral's today. Oh. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Sorry. Mm. And oh, before I forget, name tag. There's name tags walking around. Oh. They keep them moving. They're, and they continue to walk, yes. Um, did everybody get one of these? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What is that? It's the refrigerator. Oh, you can use our phone yesterday. Oh, okay. Could you pass? Okay. Pass those yeah, down to the priest and thank you. Give one to her husband. I think I have them. Um, with regard to that, the whole the liturgy of the hour thing in the divine office, um, um, it might be useful because we sometimes have new people with the standard red and black to you know, yeah. do the one say the other and just have it written out. Yeah. No, no. Right. And, um, and the hymn does have to be replaced in my office with something we actually know. Yeah. <laughs> and That's why Carolyn usually does that. Write out how to do it in the books, whatever you've decided. Yeah. Yeah, so basically take the divine office by listening to it for that day and transplant it onto a paper so you can, anyone can see it. Uh, the exception would be the, uh, uh, the glory be, because we don't do that forever and we do the whole thing. And we've done that since I've been here. So, um, the whole world without end thing. So, um, I say we chant it in Latin, that's more beautiful. <laughs> 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 it's the glory be, it's the glory be. That's okay. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm not talking about chanting the whole thing. Okay. I th and I think we should kneel on nails while doing it. <laughs> <laughs> mockery! Mockery! <laughs> More like touche. <laughs> Basically, yeah, 
make it as idiot proof as possible by putting everything lit up because there, there, there are some people who just they show up who've never done it before. No, I, I know. I'm just laughing because, you know, who's the idiot here? I'm like, yeah, what are those others? Others who've shown up and argued for 20 years, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, you know, that's. That's a phrase, okay? I was in the military. We, we yeah. need to proof everything. We, you know, we have claymores to say front towards enemy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a saying in the law: don't, don't presume anything because you, the, you have to treat the judge as a, a elementary a level. You have to educate them or the jury. Mm -hmm. It's true in everything. You know, idiot proof everything. So that's a good saying. Just realized that the ultimate idiot proofing is also on you. <laughs> Blind blood test. So, are you ready? Whenever you are. So we have an hour until we have to we get to set up for our profession. Um, you gave me thirty minutes. Yeah. So why don't you go ahead and then we can have lunch and okay. set up. Sound good? Can I use that plate? Yeah. Yeah. Do we need to rearrange the camera? I'm going to sit over there. Or you can stand over there with the plate. Either way.